So when did you know, like, that she was the one for you? October 21st, 1975. Jesus Christ, you know the fucking day? Oh, yeah. Because it was game six of the World Series. Biggest game in Red Sox history? Yeah, sure. My friends and I had you know, slept out on the sidewalk all night to get tickets. You got tickets? Yep. Day of the game. We're sitting in a bar waiting for the game to start. And in walks this girl. It was an amazing game, though. You know, bottom of the eighth, Carbo tied it up at a 6-6. It went to 12. Bottom of the 12th, in stepped Carlton Fisk. Old Pudge. Steps up to the plate. You know, he's got that weird stand. Yeah, yeah. And then, boom! He clocks it, you know. High five ball on the left field line. 35,000 people on their feet, yelling at the ball. But that's not because Fisk, he's waving at the ball like a madman. Yeah, get over! Get over! Get over! And then it hits a foul pull. Oh, he goes apeshit, and 35,000 fans, you know, they charge the field, you know? Yeah, and he's fucking pulling oh, no, he's like, oh, get out of the way, get out of the way! I can't fucking believe you had tickets to that fucking game! Yeah. Did you rush the field? Uh, no, I didn't rush the fucking field, I wasn't there. What? No, I was in a bar having a drink with my future wife. You missed Pudge Fist's home run? Oh, yeah. To have a fucking drink with some lady you never met? Yeah, but you should have seen her. She was a stunner. I don't care if Oh, fucking... no, no, she lit up the room. I don't Ooh. care if Helen and Troy walks oh, into the Helena room. That's Troy. game six. Oh, oh, my God, and who are these fucking friends of yours? They let you get away with that? Oh, they had to. Wait, what, what did you say to them? I just slid my ticket across the table, and I said, sorry, guys, I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> I gotta go see about a girl? Yeah. That's what you said? I had... And they let you get away with that? Oh, yeah, they saw in my eyes that I meant it. You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you, Will. That's why I'm not talking right now about some girl I saw at about 20 years ago and how I always regretted not going over and talking to her. I don't regret the 18 years I was married to Nancy. I don't regret the six years I had to give up counseling when she got sick. And I don't regret the last years when she got really sick. And I sure as hell don't regret missing a damn game. That's regret.